morning everyone, Deb and Tattoo here in Fairport, New York. We are coming off that supposedly windy weekend. Um, it's not terrible, but there's a little rain. So, but today we are out for our walk. So, um, I'm not running. <laughs> so I didn't know how to segue into that. But um, I just wanted to come today for our 20 and 21 dedication. And something unique has happened over the last couple days. Um, a new friend of mine, Marcy, she donated to our 20 and 21 dedication uh, fundraising event for the American Cancer Society. And um, as I typically do, I try to reach out to all my supporters and contributors. Um, certainly if I know them, um, it goes a little different, but Marcy, I didn't know. She reached out and she supported. So I reached out to her and I was like, thank you so much. And we got started chatting. And um, it turns out that our connections are almost, almost like freaking me out a little bit. Um, I had done a dedication for Don Smith. He was a driver at Wegmans, which is my full-time job. And he had passed away uh, because he had, um, his wife had connected with me because she had seen a run that I had done for somebody else in Wegmans. So we did a wonderful, wonderful piece on Don and she and I stayed connected. And subsequently, there's my reader. Um, some of her family members have stepped into our fundraiser. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Lisa. And Marcy was one of them, but I actually, I didn't know the connection. So we started speaking, and um, not only is she related to Don uh, through brothers, but uh, through her husband, who's passed away from cancer, but also John Schaefer that we just did a piece on uh, somebody that I worked with here who had just passed away was her son-in-law and her daughter Dawn is um, you know the, in, she was married to John I guess come on Tattoo come on and Dawn actually works at Wegmans in corporate offices I may have been with her I may have seen her I may have been standing beside her buying a cup of tea and I guess I just want to make sure we all open our eyes that there are lives around us and you may not know somebody's story you may not know what they've been through and you may not know that you have a connection but do not do not ever stop looking for that um, sometimes I think we get stuck in our circle and taking care of ourselves that we miss that there's there's a world outside that might need you or you might need it and um i think marcy and i are going to stay connected for a while for a long time um she uh she's a special lady and she is someone that is very open with sharing her story and teaching others um kind of you know Love is not promised forever. And, you know, for her, cancer has been that thing that's really stepped into her world and flipped it, flipped it around quite a few times. And, um, you know, I don't know. I think that not only can we learn from that, but I think that bringing someone like Marcy into my life is going to help me have a higher appreciation for things. And that's what I'm hoping that we accomplish here in this event so um you know share a story of someone that you didn't know you were connected to that you learned and how it totally just blew you away and changed changed things for you um because just as much as cancer can change our lives an experience like this can change our lives so maybe john was up there that day that i did it and don and they were throwing this little blessing saying these two ladies belong together Maybe we should get them together. So um, thank you guys up there to, uh, for protecting us and for thinking of us and for helping us hopefully make this world a little better. So Tattoo and I are going to sign off. And I hope you all have an amazing day. And, you know, maybe look at that person next to you buying coffee and uh, take the time to at least say hi because you never know how they might fit into your life. Okay, everybody have a very peaceful Sunday. Bye-bye.